Well, I think on a purely numbers basis, we're very, very happy because we have almost 2,000 employers engaged in our 88 workforce partnerships. And that's, that's really the goal of the fund was to get to that 2,000 level. We think that's going to grow over the course of the next few years because we have more collaboratives now. So we're very happy with that. From the survey that was done of a fairly small sample of employers, it, the, in, the response was 75% of the employers surveyed were either satisfied or very satisfied with the services that they received from the workforce partnership. So that's a, that's a really high number from the evaluation that employers not only were satisfied, but were also engaged in changing some of their own practices. This is after three years and really uh, of only two years of full activity, and now we're adding additional sites this year, and, and so the numbers we think will grow. But we've you know, had 18, over 18,000 participants. We've placed almost 6,000 people in jobs. Uh, we've had um, about 10,000 credentials have been awarded. So those numbers are pretty good. We're not, we're not satisfied with them. We want to do much better. Our goal is to get to 50,000 participants. We want to, our job numbers want to improve. But considering the economy that we have, considering how hard it is to get people placed in a, in a tight economy like this, we're, we're pretty happy. But the reason it's not higher is that a lot of the participants are not actually out of their training program or their bridge program. One of the things in this that we found out is that there are a lot of people that are not ready to succeed at training. They need to be in literacy programs, bridge programs, on-ramp programs that help them to get their skills up to the point where they can go into training and succeed. Because these days, since most of the jobs are fairly high-skilled or at least uh, semi-skilled, the training programs themselves are semi-skilled. And so you can't just uh, enter them without preparation. You have to have a decent level of reading and math and other kinds of skills in order to succeed.